Hello, this is Kara from Borrow Blessings. Um, we are in the middle of our Rocky Railway VBS. So I just thought I would do a quick walkthrough video so that you guys could just see how we decorated each of the spaces. Um, so this is our foyer of our church, which is entryway, registration, um, a few other things. So on the floor here we have, this is a table cover from Oriental Trading. Um, we cut it in half and then put clear carpet protector um, tape over the top of it. Uh, Oriental Trading's Bible School table cover usually sells out early every year. So if that's something that you like, I would definitely advise ordering that early. Um, and then our ticket booth is for kids who did not pre-register. So we have color-coded registration sheets up there. And then if kids did pre-register, then we put their name tags over here for them. Um, the name tags, obviously most of them have been taken since we're in the midst of Bible school. Um, so we put a little baggage claim sign there. Um, and then these suitcases are just cardboard boxes with duct tape that turned out really cute. Um, we have our souvenir shop. So this year we gave all of our volunteers a free t-shirt, um, but we do have t-shirts that kids and adults can buy if they want to. The volunteer t-shirt is a different design so that parents can easily identify who the volunteers are. This is the poster pack from group or the train poster set from group. We have a partner church here in the county and they actually made these frames and bought the posters and their Bible school was two weeks ago. So they let us borrow some of their decor. Um, some of it we will give back to them and some of it we will pass on to another couple churches. Um, this is a train table out of our church nursery. So it's handy to have that. Our largest age group by far is preschoolers. So um, we like to have a few toyish things around for the kiddos that are hanging out with their parents um, who are volunteering. This is just a piece of poster board we colored with Sharpie to make a railroad crossing sign. And then here in the sanctuary, I just put a train track set here with one of the rugs from our church nursery. And it has actually been the best thing because during our volunteer meetings, uh, the kiddos are just back here having a ball. So that worked out really well. So we do opening, closing, and we do music as a rotation. And all of these th those things happen in here. So on the floor, we have a train track made out of gaffer's tape. Um, it's a little bit expensive, but it doesn't damage your carpet, so it was worth it. Um, but that's why we don't have um, any more train track on the floor out of the gaffer tape, just because of price. So our crews sit in a pew. So we have a sign here on the end of the pew. This is sign is part of a poster pack that is on Etsy, um, and I think I think it might be on the blog as well, but I'm not positive. Um, so then the crew bag is here. The kids leave their name tags here every night, and then the crew guides pass them back out the next night so that they actually come back. Um, most years I laminate the signs on the end of the pews, and this year I thought, well, I don't know if it really matters because they're just taped on the end of the pew. Um, obviously, it does matter. So I would definitely suggest, these are cardstock, but I would still suggest laminating them. Um, we always move our pews because our preschoolers get the front two rows and this just helps keep them a little bit more contained. Not entirely, but a little bit. Um, so up on stage here, you will see some fun goodies. Over there, that is from the group poster pack. So there's another one of them over there. Um, I have yesterday's hiding over there turned backwards, so I'll put that's actually last night's and two nights goes over there, so I'll swap it out for tonight. Um, and then these backdrops are actually king size um, sheets that one of our volunteers painted. And then we got these um, backdrop stands on Amazon. So she actually did four of them. So I have three on stage here, and then one is in our um, snack area as a photo booth. So they clip on top. Obviously, I need to fix that one because it fell down a little bit last night. Um, the Christmas tree or the trees here are just some Christmas trees out of our um, church Christmas decorations. The train we got from our partner church, which was fantastic. And then we just made a little tunnel there. It fell down a little bit, but that's another sheet that has been painted. And then a black sheet. There's actually a door behind that that goes backstage. Um, we made several of these railroad crossing signs. They were really simple to make. 
we have a lot of these wood posts that we made a couple years ago that our church uses for all sorts of projects. So we just cut, um, I actually wrote the words first and then our volunteers on Bible school prep day sliced the foam board using a box knife and then screwed it to the post. Um, there's a close up of that poster pack. And then again, it's been mounted on cardboard. And then our partner church actually came up with these really handy little stands to make the poster stand up by itself. Let's see if I can get it to stand back up one handed. There we go. All right. And our balloons from day two are still up there full of hope. Leaving the sanctuary here, we have our, these are our normal church offering containers. Um, and we just made two posters, one for girls offering and one for boys offering. So the kids can just put their offering in the appropriate box. Um, I really like how easy it is to make poster board look like a train. So we just cut out two circles from black cardstock paper and call it a train. Um, that's just another piece of poster board. It is a little more light in here when the kids are here. I don't have all the lights on right now. Our story team is setting up right now, so you'll hear them jamming. This is actually our church nursery, but this year we have made it Imagination Station, so we're not using this room at all, um, which is really handy. We do not do the gizmos that group sells, we do different hands-on activities every night. So they don't necessarily take home a craft every night. Um, we try and integrate a service project um, and some different hands-on activities. So it's already prepped for tonight, but it's really handy to have that in here because then if they need to wash hands, they've got a sink. So tonight they are making these. And last night they did handprint cards for first responders. So those turned out really sweet. And then if we go back out from here, our fellowship hall is where we have snack, but then story is also in that space. We do snack all together in the middle of the evening. So it's able to kind of serve double duty. So snack tables, we just put um, disposable tablecloth and then some paper trains. And then our story team set up. This is night three's setting. So it's super cute back here with a pop up tent and then some of our church dividers. After kids finish snack, if they have extra time, then they can come take a picture at the photo booth. And on the last night of Bible school, we always do a photo craft. So we try and have a picture of every kid, um, but we do take group pictures of the crew. So if we didn't get a picture of a child, if they weren't here that night, then we at least have a picture of their crew that they can have. Um, this is a cardboard stand up from Oriental Trading. It's I think nine feet long, so it's pretty big and it stands up by itself, which is nice. You can see the back there. And then the kitchen right here is where they have the snack supplies sorted so in most of the stations we just make a box for each night and put in it what they need so they've got the snacks for each night in here and then they also have a box of supplies that they use every night in the imagination station we do the same type of thing where all of the supplies for each evening are in their own box and then our last station for the elementary rotation is Bible verse. So we actually split Bible verse and Bible story into two separate rotations. Um, so this is the Bible verse station. That is a train made out of poster board and black cardstock paper. And then they have, again, their activities were sorted um, a tub for each night. They've finished a few of them already. 
And then they do have the Bible verse in a couple of small places. We didn't put the Bible verse big in here so that they could, as they play their games, if the leaders wanted to take the verse down and see if the kids were really learning it, they could. And then, like I said, we have a pretty big preschool program. So our preschool program is for kids that are three years old and potty trained up through kids that have not been to kindergarten yet. And then we do offer a nursery toddler group only for volunteers kids or if the parents want to stay with the kids then they can hang out in our nursery toddler group. So the wood backdrop is up all the time on this wall and this is a bulletin board set I believe from Oriental Trading. So it's a really easy pop of color. They made a tunnel here. Most of it is out of paper. So we had a giant roll of um, brown paper from Amazon. There are a couple brown tarps in the mix as well. And they have a train track on the floor here. Like I said, we didn't have enough gaffers tape to do upstairs and downstairs. So what we did was we put carpet tape down first and then orange duct tape and silver reflective tape um, on top of the carpet protector. That way um, the duct tape was not actually touching the carpet. I see they have hidden the light switches here behind the tarp. So we'll see if I can turn on some lights for you. Okay, so our preschool kiddos get almost the entire lower level here. Um, this is their big train. So the underneath of it is actually just church tables covered in paper. And then the top is cardboard boxes. Um, each of these little train cars, the kids get to sit in while they do um, attendance and a couple other times during the evening just for fun. Most of the walls down here, they have just put paper on um, with some little accents. So we usually buy one roll of colored paper every year, a different color. So we've um, stocked up on several colors over the years. This is where the preschool kiddos do their Bible verse. So they actually made a little craft with their Bible verse, our public library has um, a die cut machine that they will let anyone go in and use and they happen to have several different train cars so we went in and as long as you take your own paper then the machine's free to use so we cut these trains and then the words were printed just on regular copy paper and they taped them on and then the kids got to glue each piece to the to a piece of poster board preschool kids love pretty much anything where they get a bottle of glue um, these signs are just scrapbooking paper. And then here we have a ticket booth. So our partner church gave this to us. They had it up on a podium. So it was adult height um, for our preschool kiddos. We actually put it down on a little coffee table so they can come back here and act like they're selling train tickets, which is fun. This is the preschool snack area. So just like upstairs, they have their snacks divided by day. Um, they stay down here for the entire evening, except for they do come up for opening and closing every night. So they do everything else down here. Um, this cute little train, we actually, it's a real lightweight frame toy. Um, we actually got it on a Facebook sale site locally. So we got a great deal on that. And then we um, sometimes will buy supplies off there and then just resell them after Bible school. So it doesn't end up costing us much to use them for Bible school. This is where the preschoolers have their Bible story each night. And then over here is where our large group lessons are typically for elementary kids throughout the school year. Um, these bulletin boards are up all the time and we change them with the monthly theme. So we just added some train decor to them. And then this is just where the preschoolers do their music. And then they have some of the poster pack that we didn't use on stage. 
Down here, we did some more of the Oriental Trading Table Runner. Um, we have a train table, and then that is black pieces of plumbing insulation that were cut up for a game that the preschoolers were doing. I think these are just some train toys for if they had free time during the evening, then this is one place that their crews can come play. So then we just made a divider here. So I'll go back to the beginning. That's the end of our preschool space and then our nursery toddler kiddos. Well, actually the preschoolers also have this space. So this is the group backdrop. Our partner church loaned it to us and we'll just give it back to them after we're finished with it. So the preschool kiddos have been taking pictures here each night that we can use for that photo craft on the last night. Um, these are some more poster board trains. And then this area, if the nursery toddler kids need some more space to play, they can come out here. Their classroom is in here. So we don't have very many nursery toddler kiddos because we don't open it up to the public. Um, and like I said, this is not our normal nursery toddler classroom. So we just brought in some of the essentials from upstairs. Um, and we have just a handful of kids in there each night. We've got some more of the table runner there. That's a really nice way to add color to space. And then if you have any toy trains, the kids can run them on the floor and you don't have to worry about having tracks all over the place. Um, they've got some props here for their backdrop and then some more of the um, printable pictures from the Etsy poster pack. So you could hang those on the wall as posters or we are using them as photo booth props and all the rest of them were upstairs. I don't remember if I showed those to you. So that is everything, all of our spaces that we are using for Bible school this year. Um, I hope that you this was helpful for you guys and that you have an awesome Bible school this year. Best of luck.